I'm Jennifer Majori. I'm here at First Coast Oncology interviewing Dr. Scott Ackerman, who's participating in Rounds of the Grounds for the second year. So we wanted to interview you, Dr. Ackerman, today to um, just get to know you a little bit better. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. It's nice having you interview me, Jennifer. Yeah. Well, we're excited about you participating again in our second annual Rounds of the Grounds to benefit Healthy Start. So I wanted to ask you a few questions. How did you end up getting into the medical field? Well. I was very attracted to medicine. I was an engineering student uh, in uh, undergraduate, but I was attracted to medicine because it really challenged me intellectually, and I felt that going into medicine would be a, a meaningful uh, experience and create a meaningful career for me. Oh, good. And what is the most rewarding aspect of your job being a doctor every day? Well, it's really as an oncologist. I deal with patients with cancer all the mm -hmm. time. And cancer is a very tough illness. Uh, but um, I really enjoy improving the lives of patients with cancer. I can provide hope. I can buy, provide positive outcomes uh, with the treatments that we give. Okay. Well, thank you. And what spurred you to get involved with Rounds of the Ground? How did you end up? Well, when I was first asked, I kind of laughed because I was never a, a, a sporting kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Sports were not my thing, really. Uh, uh, academics was my thing. In studying, I always did better with, with academics than with sports. And uh, so, uh, but in order to do something fun and outdoors and help our community, I thought it would be a great, fun experience for me. Sounds like a good connection for you. Yeah. And what is your favorite part from playing at Rounds of the Grounds last year? You're familiar with it. What's your favorite part of participating? The support of, of all the fans. Yeah. Uh, makes and it you big. had a lot of fans last year. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of our patients come out uh -huh. and a lot of the staff came out. And it was a, a very exciting for them and for me, sure. Yeah. And we're hoping this year we'll get even more fan support for, for all of the doctors. Hopefully we'll have hundreds, hundreds of fans. <laughs> Fill up that stadium. Mm -hmm. So, And last year you were named the most valuable player. Yeah, how, how did that feel? Well, it felt great. I think it was because I had the most fans. But for me, <laughs> it felt kind of redeemed. Because as a child, I was always the last to be picked for any kind of uh, sporting, you know, mm -hmm. for a bombardment, you know, uh, and, uh, and those sort of games. I was the last one to be picked. So I finally felt redeemed. Good, good, I'm glad. Do you have a trophy from that? Probably they give you a trophy last year? for MVP? I don't know. I don't remember. Probably. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Make sure that that's there. So, um, And you've been a resident here in Jacksonville for about 23 years. What's your favorite part about our community, the favorite thing about our Jacksonville community? Well, Jacksonville's a large city. You know, it's mm -hmm. the largest, geographically, one of the largest cities in the world, largest in the country for sure. But despite the fact it's a large city, it's a city with a big heart. And we're still, we still feel a sense of community. Yeah. And you're a leader in our community with many different things, not oh, just thanks. rounds at the ground. And I was wondering, how could people, you, how could you encourage, or what are some things that other people could do to get involved um, in our community and improving the health of our community? Well, we have lots of organizations within Jacksonville, grassroots organizations mm -hmm. that um, uh, um, help benefit our community. There's the American Heart Association, the Diabetes Association, the American Cancer Society, one of my favorites, of mm -hmm. course, because that's what I do. And just getting involved in any of these organizations will help our community uh, as a whole. Yeah, there's always some events in the weekend, I know, walks and stuff to benefit the, the various right, right. things. So. And you can do it at any level. You know, there's a lot of kids that get involved in these mm -hmm. activities. It gets mm -hmm. them their, their service hours, and, right. and they uh, enjoy it, and it's a great Wonderful stuff. I think that's a great idea to get the, our youth involved in um, helping our community. So, what's your number one health tip to live by? Eat healthy and exercise. Okay, great. And that's something you follow, I know. I see sure. you out running and things, so that's great advice. I try. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. Especially in this heat these days. Mm -hmm. so. so, if we made a documentary about your life, your career, your family, your rise to the ground to the grounds MVP, <laughs> um, who should we cast to play in that mm -hmm. movie? Well, who's available? I don't know who's available. First <laughs> of all. You know, so a Within few people reason, come to right? mind, like Harrison Ford or Sean Connery, or maybe um, um, Daniel Craig. But mm. you know, I don't know. Those are all good ones, but. I think Matthew Broderick is Matthew probably, Broderick. Yeah. And I haven't seen him around lately, so he might be available. He might be available. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think that'd be a, gr a great fit. So, well, do you have any baseball tips for the other doctors that are be playing at Rounds of the Ground since you do have experience from last year? What's your tip for them? Well, keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> we don't tip. want any broken noses no, the next no, no. day. No, no, no. If you're not looking at the ball, you're going to hit in the head with it, and that's, that's not good. You can't explain that very well. 
Well, we're really looking forward to Rounds of the Grounds this year, and we're hoping that um, we'll see a lot of participation from the community. So thank you very much for spending some time with me today. And thank you for this nice interview, Jennifer. Great.